Hello Gators, this is 7.8 Exponential Models with Differential Equations. Let's do a little review of Algebra 1 and Algebra 2. Uh, exponential Growth and Decay uh, Models. Y equals A to B to the T power. A is the initial amount that we have, and B is what we call the growth factor if, if B is greater than 1, and B is called the decay factor if B is between 0 and 1. All right, let's take a look at taking the derivative with respect to time uh, so that we can see the differential equation. So we are going to take the derivative of this side, dy dt, and then we're going to take the derivative of this side. Now this is just a, uh, a factor being multiplied, and this is a, an exponential, so it's itself. So this will be b to the t power, but because the base is not e, we have to uh, do the multiplier natural log of b. All right, and uh, what hopefully that you notice is that this portion right here is our y. So what we can do is we can write uh, dy dt is equal to y times the natural log of b. Now b, remember, is a number, and the natural log of b is going to be some constant. And so what we can, uh, instead of writing natural log of b, we can actually write the constant uh, times y. So we can, this represents the differential equation of this exponential growth or decay model. So an exponential growth or decay model, it goes like this. The rate of change of a quantity, that's what this is, the rate of change of a quantity is proportional to the size of the quantity. So if the quantity is y, then the size of the quantity is also y. So this is proportional to the size of the quantity. And if we want to change it to an equation, we have to introduce the constant of proportionality. So hopefully this helps you understand that this differential equation will always give us an exponential growth or decay. Let's take a look at setting up a differential equation. So it says the weight of an animal is increasing. So that's a rate of change. So we'll say dw dt with respect to time is proportional to the weight. And then we're going to go our next step and we're going to change it to an equation by introducing the constant of proportionality and that's all we need to do. Okay, uh, the population is shrinking. Shrinking is like decreasing. So dp and with respect to time dt is proportional to the uh, population size. So it's p and then we want to introduce the constant of proportionality, k uh, times p. So this is how we arrive at our differential equation. Let's uh, now take a look at this uh, and go in the opposite direction. We started at the exponential and then we came to the, um, to the differential. Let's see if we can go backwards by using separation of variables. So I'm going to get all the y's to one side, dy over y equals leave the k alone and then multiply both sides by dt and then I'm going to integrate and then this will be the natural log of the absolute value of y equals now k is a constant and the variable is t plus c and then I want to get rid of natural log so what I want to do is exponentiate both sides so e to this power e to this power and then this will be the absolute value of y equals e to the kt uh, times e to the c. So now we have y is equal to plus or minus e to the c times e to the kt. And all of this is a constant. And so what we can do is we can just write it as c, e to the kt. And let's compare it to what we had before, e to the a, b to the t power. Let's compare it. And you can see c and a are acting as initial conditions. And this uh, e to the k to the t here 
e to the k is really playing the part of b here. c plays a part of c. So the solution of dy dt equals ky, this differential equation, will always lead us to this, where c represents the initial value of the model. All right, let's take a look at doing these problems, knowing that if your differential equation looks like this, we can jump into the solution right away without having to go to separation of variables. Okay, so compare this with this, and you can see that k is equal to 6. So my answer is y is equal to c e to the kt, that's our uh, solution, and we know that uh, k is 6, and we know that at time equal to 0, we have a 5 as an amount, so that's our initial condition. So our c will be a 5, our k will be a 6, and we're done. We have the solution. Let's go to this problem. Uh, I can see k is going to be equal to negative 3, and I can see my initial condition at x equal to 0, I'm going to get y equal to 4. So this is going to be y, this is my solution, c, e to, e to the kt, and my initial amount will be 4, and my k is negative 3t. And there's my solution, and I didn't have to go through separation of variables. All right, let's take a look at this. Uh, uh, an animal weighs three pounds at birth, four pounds just three months later. So this is really telling me at zero, it uh, animal is three pounds. And um, at uh, three months, uh, four pounds. And so the weight of an animal is increasing at a rate proportional to its weight. Okay, let's write the differential equation, dw over dt, the rate at which it's incre uh, in increasing in rate, is proportional to the weight. I'm going to go ahead and write the equation with k, kw, and again I have this differential equation, so I know that, um, um, that I can solve, let me go ahead and solve, and so this will be uh, w, equals c e to the k and my variable is t. So instead of using y I'm using w because that's going to be our weight. And uh, I know that the initial amount is 3. So I'm going to write w is equal to 3, the weight is 3, 3 kt. I still don't know what k is but I do have another point that I can substitute. So the weight is uh, 4 pounds equals 3 e to the k and my time is 3. So now I have 4 thirds uh, equals e to the uh, 3k and what I'd like to do is solve for k so I'm going to take the natural log of each side and then this will be the natural log of 4 thirds is equal to 3k and therefore k is equal to one-third natural log of four-thirds. So this is my k, and now I can go ahead and put it back into here, so that's going to be equal to 3e to the one-third natural log of 4 over 3, and then times by t. So that is my k. It's a complicated k, but that's my k. And if I want to figure out what the animal wet will weigh in at five months, so I'll just put a five here, and then I'll do three e to the one third natural log of four thirds, and then times that by the number five, put that in the calculator, and round it to three decimal places, and that'll be my answer. All right, uh, let's uh, summarize a little bit. So a growth model looks something like this. Uh, this is the initial amount, and as long as k is greater than zero, it's growth. And uh, initial amount, and if k is negative, uh, it'll be decay. And why is it decay? Because this negative three really is an exponent, which means the e is going to be in the denominator. And when you're times it by an, uh, an amount that's between zero and one, you are getting smaller and smaller. Okay, so let's do this problem. Uh, a growth rate 
uh, doubles um, every seven years. Uh, what is the value of K? So we don't have uh, the initial amount and I'm gonna show you that we can get uh, this problem even though we don't have an initial amount. So we know that this is a uh, exponential model. So this will be Y equals uh, the initial amount, which is uh, C E to the KT. All right, and we do know that at seven years, we're going to get double the initial amount. So um, let's call the initial amount um, y not so oh, uh, the amount of y at time equal to uh, zero so this will be y not and we know we're going to get double that amount when uh, t is equal to seven <clears throat> and then I can divide both sides by y not and that'll be two is equal to e to the 7k and I have to solve for k I'm going to take the natural log of both sides and so this will be the natural log of 2 equals and natural log and e will undo each other and then therefore k is equal to the natural log of 2 over 7 and that is my value of k if I want to do it in decimal form I have to round to three decimal places